I for science. Hey everyone and welcome to today's episode of I for science. Have you ever heard of quantum levitation? It may sound like some incomprehensive futuristic science, but it's actually not as obscure as one might think. We're gonna show you this cool phenomenon and explain how it works. Inside the levitating box, there is a piece of material made from yttrium, barium, copper, and oxygen that has bonded and formed a crystalline chemical compound. The way that the atoms in these crystals are organized gives these materials some very interesting properties. When you cool it down to a temperature of 93 Kelvin, it becomes superconducting, meaning that it can conduct electricity without a resistance. To cool the material down to its superconducting state, we use liquid nitrogen. As you can see, the superconductor is kept in a small plastic container when taken out of the nitrogen bath. This box holds some liquid nitrogen to keep the material sufficiently cold and superconducting. This is necessary for us to be able to demonstrate things that take over 15 seconds. The track that the superconductor is levitating over is made out of several strong neodymium magnets, organized in a very specific manner. The magnetic field surrounding the magnets doesn't change as you move along due to the pattern in which they are arranged. When a magnetic field is imposed on a superconductor, electric currents are induced on the surface as the magnetic field cannot penetrate the superconductor due to its lack of resistance. This induced magnetic field cancels out the outer field from the magnets, and this is known as the Meissner effect. But this material, YBCO, is very special, because if you have it in a magnetic field as you cool it down to its superconducting state, it allows some of the field lines to go through it. These will then be what the superconductor is used to, and therefore will be keen on staying at the same altitude above the magnet track, in accordance with Lenz's law. When you put a magnet over the superconductor, the Meissner effect steps in again, leaving the magnet suspended over the superconductor. This, however, as you can see, is more unstable, seeing as we haven't frozen in the field lines of the magnet. A rather interesting thing to do, though, is to put a magnet over the superconductor, which is already levitating over the magnetic track because now we can clearly observe that the magnetic field from the track is dispelled, as we can see that it doesn't significantly influence the magnet above the superconductor. This could actually have some potential use in the future, if we would be able to make a material superconducting in room temperature. For instance, personal air travel, or just flying everyday items. Thanks for watching i for science we will be up with a new video shortly, so just thanks for the support and uh, watch science and learn. Bye!